Mika. Phew. This is enough for today. My name is Keita. I'm a freshman in high school. I'm an introverted guy that loves anime, and I work out every day. I'm not very handsome, so I'm not very popular with the girls. But there is a girl that I have a crush on. I'm going now! You're late! What were you doing? This girl, Rin. She's an old childhood friend of mine. My bad. I was taking a shower. Huh? Were you working out again? Of course. I've been in love with Rin since elementary school. We've always been good friends, but I've never asked her out. There are three reasons for that. First, I'm a wimp. Secondly, Rin is one of the most popular girls in school. And she's way out of my league. And finally... Jeez, all you do is work out and watch anime. You're such a loner. Hey, shut up! She's such an aggressive personality that I became overly competitive with her. That's why you don't get any girls. Leave me alone! If I got serious about it, I bet I could find myself a... Oh, yeah? Have anyone ever asked you out then? Ugh. Come on, tell me! No. <sighs> Didn't think so. Well, I'm popular, unlike you, Kata. Ugh. Well, I can't argue that. Hmph. <laughs> you should be proud of your childhood friend, Kata. But why don't you ever date anyone, then? <gasps> well, that's because none of those boys are my type. I want someone handsome and manly. I see. And what about you? Huh? Your type, you dummy! Oh, well, that's easy. Shinobu Kocho! Duh! Huh? Man, that episode last night was so great! Did you see it too, Rin? <sighs> that anime character again? You're such a dork. Well, good luck finding someone like that! You better go get a reality check! Shut up! It's not my fault that Shinobu Kocho's face is so perfect! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, whatever. Spoken like a true anime geek. Hey, wait up! A few days later. Well, Rin's right. There's no way that there's a real high school girl that looks like Shinobu Kocho. Hey, wanna play? Huh? Like I said earlier, I would like to refuse to spend time with you two. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be like that. Oh my, I didn't want it to come down to this, but... Um, excuse me. <gasps> it seems like she's uncomfortable. I think you guys should leave her alone. Huh? Who the hell are you? Stay out of this! Um, well... It's obvious that she needs some help. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, nice catch. Huh? Uh, let me go! I'd like to keep things civil. For your sake. Uh, ouch! Um... Thank you so much! You're very strong, aren't you? Oh, no worries. I just work out a lot. And... You were so cool! May I ask for your name? Uh... Yeah... Sweet! A high school girl that looks just like Shinobu Kocha! Yes! Please, call me Shiori. Will you join me for a date next weekend? Whoa! Date! Her name was Shiori Choko. Ever since that incident, she contacts me every day. I was nervous, and could only write back to her very conservatively. But one day after school, something happened. Hey! Check it out, guys! Whoa! That's... That's Shiori Choko! What the hell is she doing here? It looks like she's waiting for someone. Hey, Ichi. Why does everyone know who that girl is? Huh? Are you serious? That's Shiori Choko, an upper-class princess that goes to Nichiren High! The all-girls private high school! She's beautiful in a karate black belt that competes nationally! How do you not know her? <laughs> I see. Oh, hello, Keita! Um, I thought we were going out next weekend. Yes, but I couldn't help it. I had to come see you. Huh? What the hell is going on? Hey, 
who the hell are you? Me? My name is Yuri Choko, but may I ask who you are? I'm Rin Tachibana, Kata's friend from childhood! I see, you're his childhood friend. Then there's no problem here. Hey! What are you doing? What do you mean there's no problem? Well, you aren't his girlfriend, right? We'll be going out on a date next week. Huh? How the hell did that happen? Kata saved me the other day. I've never had anyone protect me before. Kata was so lovely that day. <sighs> What's so great about this guy? He's just an introvert that's only interested in anime and working out. <gasps> just trust me. You don't want to go out with this... Hey, why are you talking trash about me? Huh? Shut your drooling face up, you creep! Hmm. You're just surprised that I'm finally getting my chance, aren't you? Huh? Whatever. Fine. Do as you want. Yeah, that was the plan. Oh my. I stopped going to school with Rin after that. And we stopped talking in class, too. And finally, the day of our date. Um, Shiori. Yes, what is it? Um... Could you step back? Um... I'm sorry, were you uncomfortable? No, it's not that. It's just kind of embarrassing, you know? Ugh, stop mumbling! Tell her to back off already! Hmm... Well then, it shouldn't be a problem. Huh? Shall we? By the way, Kata. Huh? You're very buff. You should play sports or something. Oh, well, that's not why I work out. Is that so? Why is it then? Um, well... Oh, Kata, you got some ice cream on your mouth. Ah, really? Yeah, right here. Oh, thanks. Whoa, what? <laughs> Yummy. Huh? Why don't you come out already? Uh... Rin! <laughs> I could sense your presence the entire time. My presence?! Hey, you're too close to him! Well, if you're jealous, why don't you get close to him too? Uh... Oh, you can't? Well, too bad, I guess. Too bad, too bad. Uh... This is so stupid! Fine! Just flirt with each other forever, then! Rin! So, like I was saying... Sorry, Shiori. I... I have to go! Huh? I... I've been training to... You're so annoying! You're a girl! Why don't you try acting like one? Uh... Stop it! Huh? Leave Rin alone! Ugh. K Kata! No. I can't be weak like this. I gotta get stronger. The reason I work out is... to become the type of man who can protect my loved ones. Rin! What? Stop following me. I'm sorry. It may not be the right time to say this, but I'm glad that you came. <gasps> Shut up! It's so stupid! Yeah, I know. But you help me remember that it's you that I like, Rin. <laughs> Kata, I like you too. I'm sorry I wasn't straight with you. <laughs> Stop crying, Rin. Oh my, it seems that I've lost this battle. Rin and I became a couple after that. It was a fresh new feeling to be going to school with Rin as my girlfriend. Shiori still visits me at school sometimes, though. Hey! Back down! Your time is done! Oh, are you sure about that? I may not be his girlfriend right now, but that doesn't mean I don't have a chance to marry him one day. Ugh. Oh man, this is gonna be a long high school life. Calm down, you two. <gasps> hey! Which of us do you plan to marry, Kata? My name is Shuri Choko. I'm a high school student at Nichiren High. Uh, it's President Choko. She's so gorgeous as always. 
<laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am the president of the student council at the school. I'm also a part of the karate team, but the teachers begged me to do it, so I accepted. But it's not a burden to me at all. Because currently, I am in love. His name is Keita Miyamoto. He is a courageous and amazing young man that saved me from danger a little while ago. The other day, he started dating a girl named Rin, but I haven't given up on him yet. But this is the first time that I've ever been in love, so recently I've been asking strangers online for advice. Don't let the girlfriend bother you. Just keep approaching him. Just seduce him with your body. <laughs> yeah, destroy that couple. I see. I guess aggressiveness is the key. Hmm. Well, she has better breasts than me. Hey! President! You're looking something up that's not related to school again, aren't you? <laughs> this is important. And plus, I've already finished up all the work for today. Already? Yes, so you two can go home now. Jeez, she's so fast. That day, I finished everything early as usual and decided to head over to Kata's school to meet him, but... <laughs> hey, that hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were super athletic, Miss Choco. You should be able to dodge me, right? Let me guess, that's all a lie. <laughs> so, I guess that means she bumped into me on purpose just now. This is Ayaka. She's a freshman like me, but I've never spoken to her. I do know her name, though, because she stands out. Not in a good way, though. It seems like she's feeling irritable today. Hey, there's this boy from another school that I like, but it seems like he has a crush on you. It's getting on my nerves, so can you stop coming to school? Oh, I don't see how you came to that conclusion. Huh? I'm telling you that everything will work out if you just shut yourself into your room. Besides, I never liked you in the first place. Huh? You might be some karate champion or president of the school or whatever, but you think you're all cool because everyone puts you on a pedestal, right? No, no, that's not true. I have many acquaintances, but I don't have many real friends. Plus, you're popular with the boys, right? I bet that classy way of talking is just a facade too, right? It's so annoying. No, I've always talked like... Well, I think you're ugly. I'm so much cuter than you'll ever be. I don't see why everyone's so into you. Oh my, what shall I do? It seems like she's taking something out on me. Well, anyways, just stop coming to school, all right? I'm sorry, but I can't fulfill your request. I have many responsibilities at school too, after all. All right, if that's how you want to play. You better watch your back from now on. Oh my, love can really change people, it seems. Many things started happening around me after that conversation. Oh my, oh dear. When will this end? Oh, what's wrong? You're not gonna wear those. Someone must really hate you. You should probably stop coming to school before you get hurt. What the hell? That's unforgivable! She's much sneakier than I expected. But you're strong, right, Yori? Beat the crap out of her! <laughs> I would never resort to violence. I'm sure she'll get bored after a while. Anyways, where's Kata? Kata's at work today. He just started a new job recently. Oh, is that so? That's too bad. Hey, are you really okay? That girl seems like she's pretty persistent. <laughs> How odd of you to worry about your rival. Uh, well, these are two different problems. And plus, today... What is it? Um... Is there something you want to talk about? Ugh, whatever! Here, this! What's this? Just open it up and you'll see. Um, are you giving me a gift? Yeah, well, I know that we went through a lot, but I guess it's kind of thanks to you that I'm with Kata now. So, this is kind of like a gift of appreciation, you 
Rin. Huh? It's not just your breasts. You have a really big heart. What? Why are you talking about my boobs? Oh, jeez. I mean, yeah, we're rivals, but we're friends too, right? Huh? So, it's not weird to give you a gift, right? We're... friends? Wait, we're not? Uh, well... Huh? Uh, hold on, this is pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll take great care of this. So, this is what it's like to have a friend. Oh, this looks nice, and it raises my spirits too. Oh, you're still here. Huh? I wonder what's gonna happen to you today. And were you just talking to yourself? Creepy. <sighs> Ayaka, I think that's enough. Will you please stop already? Huh? What the hell? Aren't you bored yet? Or do you just have too much free time on your hands? What did you say? If you would like to discuss it, I'm all ears. So please, can you stop doing these things behind my back? Who the hell do you think you are? You're so annoying. <gasps> oh, that's... Huh? What? Is this piece of crap that important to you? Yes, it is, so please give that back. Hmm, I see. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, you should see your face. I've never seen you look so pathetic. Ugh, I feel so much better. You can come to school if you look like that every day. We're friends too, right? I've never felt this way before. A few days later. <sighs> she seems so depressed since then. I guess physical damage works the best. Alright, time to really hurt her and toss her things out. Huh? Did you think that I didn't notice? What are you doing? You think it's okay for the school president to do something like this? Yes, I've seen your true colors, and this is just self-defense. Ugh! Shut up! Hurry up and go home and shut yourself in! Oh, about that. It's you who's going to become a shut-in. The school board has been investigating your daily activities. We've been able to dig up a lot of dirt on you, and the teachers already have their eyes on you. Yeah, so... so what? You've been working part-time without school permission, cutting classes, and bullying fellow classmates. And that's just the beginning. <laughs> what the hell? You've been all quiet till now. What's gotten into you? Why are you mad? Mad? Yeah, I guess you're right. I am mad at you, Ayaka. I've been mad for a very, very long time. You started by taking out your frustration on me unfairly and continued to harass me every day. And finally, you destroyed an important gift from a friend. I've reached my limit. <clears throat> I've already finished the report on you that's ready to be submitted to the teacher's office. Shall we go to the student counseling department together right now? There's no way you could prepare that in such a short period of time. It seems like you don't understand how capable the student council members are. Shall we go then? With your grades, if you receive a long-term detention punishment, you will be held back for sure. Wait! I don't want to do freshman year! Stop! Help me! Not only will I not be able to date that guy, but my parents will pull me out of the school! You only think about yourself, don't you? Okay, here's a question for you then. How many people have you bullied until now? And did you ever stop when they asked you to? Uh, well... What's wrong? You seem panicked. Focus now. I'm sorry! I'll apologize, so please... That doesn't even sound like an apology. Listen, Ayaka. I don't know who it is that you like, but you need to start by fixing that horrific personality of yours, all right? No one is attracted to an ugly personality like yours. Uh, I'm so sorry. It seemed like she was sincerely sorry, so I helped shorten her detention in exchange for a ridiculous amount of written apologies. 
It seems like she has learned her lesson, and she dresses better and treats people around her better now as well. But towards me... Good morning, Shiori. Uh, uh, hello. I've truly been touched by your generous heart. I understand now why the students in the school respect you so much. I was an idiot. Uh... <laughs> It was quite awkward for me at first, because her attitude towards me changed so dramatically. And apparently, she built up the courage to ask her crush out, and that worked out for her as well, too. She comes to thank me for hours, so I have to run away. Maybe I have a matchmaking gift. Here you are. What? Uh, oh, you didn't have to! I want you to have this. I'm so sorry about the gift you gave me, even though I promised to take good care of it. I was paid back for it, so I threw in some of my own money and bought two of these. Whoa! Look at this! Are you sure? Yeah, it's the same as mine. But does that bother you? No, n not at all. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you for your friendship, Rin. Uh, yeah, of course. This looks so expensive. An offline meeting? Does this mean let's meet in person? Hmm, maybe I'll be able to meet someone new. Well, I might as well give it a shot. Um... Yes? You dropped this. Why? How is this happening to me? Yuji, let's go for lunch! Yeah, I'm just your ordinary high school boy. I get average grades, work a part-time job, and watch my favorite animes at home. You know, just the ordinary high school life. Hey, how are things with Mika recently? Hey, quiet down! Same old man! Oh, he's living it up! My friend is an outgoing guy, but unlike him, I'm about to graduate high school without ever dating anyone. I did have a crush, but I had no chance at all. Yui, let's go to karaoke after school. Yeah, sure. Oh man, Yui's so hot! Yeah, I heard the captain of the soccer team asked her out the other day. <sighs> My crush was the most popular girl in class, Yui Saijo. Her grades were good, and she came from a prestigious family line. She was on the opposite spectrum of existence as me. Uh, why did I have to fall in love with her? I have no chance. Ever. I've known Yui since middle school. We were in the same class. Honestly, it was love at first sight. So cute. But Yui was surrounded by all the handsome guys in class, and I never got a chance to approach her properly. I just stared at her every day. And here we were at the biggest event in high school. The high school trip. This was where it all happened. Phew, that felt good. Huh? Where'd they all go? Well, I'll be hanging out in the girls' room. See you later. Those guys. Ah, <sighs> all right, whatever. Guess the introvert will just sit here and watch I need. Huh? What? Did you guys get kicked out? Um, can I come in? What? Yui? Saijo? I'm sorry to come all of a sudden. Oh no, my bad. I thought it was Ichi and the others. Calm down, calm down. Stay calm. Uh, so what happened? What are you doing here? Uh, well... Yui told me how they were playing cards in her room and the loser had to come to this room as a penalty. I win, you lose, Yui. Penalty time. Have fun. Oh, I see. Looks like you guys are having fun. I'm sorry. Are you alone too, Yuji? Yeah, come in. Ichi and the others went to hang out with the girls, so I was bored anyways. Okay. Huh? Wait. Am I all alone in this room with Yui? <laughs> what am I doing? Calmly sitting her down. Oh man, I bet Yui's uncomfortable too. I should have just had her leave, but that would ruin the point of the penalty! Ah! We haven't spoken like this in a while now. Huh? Oh yeah. 
you're right. We used to talk a little more back in middle school, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. But after we got into high school, you started getting even more popular. So I could never talk to you with all those guys surrounding you all the time. That's not true. Yeah, it is. I mean, the captain of the soccer team even asked you out the other day, didn't he? Yeah, but I said no. Oh, really? Sweet! Yeah, I've never even had a boyfriend. Oh, for real? But the captain of the soccer team is handsome. I'm glad she doesn't have a boyfriend, though. Well, there's someone I like. Ah, uh, so that's why. I've had a crush on him since middle school, but I'm too embarrassed to approach him myself. Oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I've been fighting a losing battle since middle school then. But that's amazing. How you can like the same person for so long. What a lucky guy to be liked by someone like you. Th thanks Oh, she's so cute. You should just approach them. No one would say no to you, Yui. You think? Yeah, I've known you since middle school. Trust me. I'm not happy about it, but I do want her to be happy. Okay, maybe I will. Yeah, do it. Who is it, by the way? I would like to know. Probably someone outgoing like Ichi, eh? Um, well... Knock, knock! Yikes! This voice... Mrs. Tanaka? Ah, it's way past lights out. Oh no, oh no! Why aren't they back yet? Uh, what should we do? Hmm... Oh no, I messed up! Okay, here we go! Oh, there's only one futon left. This is bad! What am I thinking? You guys sleeping? Please don't notice us! <laughs> I'm so sorry, but we can't let her find out that there are two people in here! <sighs> Alright then, on to the girls' area. Jeez, why do I have to do this? Phew! We made it. Oh, sorry, Yui. We're good now? Huh? Wait... Just listen like this... The person I was talking about... It was you, Yuji! Huh? What?! No way! Are you serious?! Do you remember the cooking class we had in middle school? Yeah, the one where we made our lunches, right? Yeah, that class. I've always been bad at cooking, and I couldn't make those rolled omelets right. Even my friends laughed at me. I didn't want to put it into my lunch, so I hid it in the corner of the table. But when I looked up, you were eating it. What's this? Is anyone gonna eat this? Wait, that's... Oh, sorry. Was this yours, Yui? Were you saving it for later? Oh, no, but it just came out bad. Huh? You can't judge a book by its cover. It tastes awesome. Huh? If you don't need it, can I have it? I love these. Yeah, sure. You were the first person ever say that my cooking tasted good. Is that why you... Yeah, is that weird? No, not at all. Thank you, God. Wait, so that was Yui's handmade food? So... <sighs> Will you... Oh. Wait! Huh? We should take things one step at a time. And besides, if the teachers find out about this situation, we'll get in big trouble! Uh, yeah, you're right. And, once we're back in class again, I want you to let me say it. Huh? Say what? I've liked you since middle school too, Yui. Please, let me have the honor to ask you. Yeah, okay. Aw, uh, did I just miss my chance to kiss her? I'm such a wuss! So I helped Yui sneak back into the girls' room. I successfully got her back, but... Phew. All done. Huh. What are you doing here? And this is how my fruitful high school trip ended. And... We made it official after that. Of course, I asked her out this time. I found out later that the whole chain of events was planned out by Ichi and Mika. They've always known that we liked each other and plotted the situation. Man, it was hard to get everyone in line. Yeah, but I'm glad it worked. Oh, how embarrassing.
embarrassing. Wow! That's amazing! I've been practicing. I'm so happy that you finally get to eat it. She's so cute. Thank you so much. Yeah, your rolled omelets are the best. <laughs> Thanks, Yuji. My boring life has forever been changed by this angel. <sighs> Nothing like miso pork cutlets and beer. This is the best. Uh, my name is Shoichi. I'm on a business trip to Nagoya. I was in Osaka yesterday, but the okonomiyaki and beer combo was delicious. My work takes me all over Japan, and one of my favorite things to do was eat local dishes. That was great! Thank you! I was filled with satisfaction as I walked back to my hotel. Whew, man, I'm feeling kinda horny. <laughs> I was away from home on a business trip, and I felt free. On top of that, I was feeling kinda drunk, and I gave in to my temptation. Maybe I'll call a girl over for a night massage. Ah, uh, no, I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. Calm down, control yourself. This is a bad decision. Contrary to the words that were coming out of my mouth, I was calmly searching online for a good service nearby. Hello? Thank you for calling all kinds of refreshing surfaces. How may I help you? Um, I would like all kinds of refreshing services. This combination of anxiety and excitement while waiting for your girl to arrive is my favorite. Oh, here she is. However, the woman who was standing there was... What? Huh? My wife. Yumi! What, uh... What are you doing here? Uh... After an awkward moment of silence, Yumi said something, uh, unexpected. Good evening, sir. My name is Natsuko. What? Is she seriously trying to fool me right now? She just stuck out her jaw. I saw that straight face just a moment ago. Uh, Yumi, right? Yumi, I think you have the wrong person. Oh, I'm so ugly. You want to switch me out, right? Okay, then. Hold on. That's for me to decide. No, no, no. I know you want to switch. <laughs> no, not at all. I'd love to speak to you inside. <laughs> After a while, I was able to bring the so-called Natsuko into my room. Uh, doesn't your jaw hurt? Huh? What are you talking about? I was born like this. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I have a phone call. <gasps> Enough, Yumi. <sighs> what are you doing here? Back at ya. Aren't you supposed to be in Osaka? Uh, well, I had business over here in Nagoya. Afterwards? You never told me, and I didn't know that you called massage ladies to your room every time you were on business trips. That's disgusting. <sighs> well, look at you! You're working at one! Uh, well, yeah, but... The more we talked, the more we hurt each other. The situation was hell. Why are you in Nagoya anyways? Because someone might recognize me if I work in Tokyo. I was traveling all the way over to Nagoya, but the last person I wanted to find out calls. <sighs> this sucks. Yeah, this sucks. I'm gonna keep you up all night tonight. The bullet trains cost a lot of money too, right? You can take a cheap overnight bus for $20. Seriously? That cheap? Hey, enough about me. Do you use these services every time you're on a business trip? Uh, uh sometimes. Disgusting. Uh, well, it's because you won't have fun with me at all recently. And even when you do, you just lie there like a dead fish. You can't blame me for being horny. What? Are you blaming me for your behavior? Well, let me give it to you straight then. You smoke all day, right, Shoichi? You know how much I hate smoking, and you drink every night, and you've gained so much weight, right? Yes. So what makes you think I want to sleep with a smelly, fat drunk? Uh-huh. Shit, she's dissing me so hard. I feel like I'm gonna cry. And you know how much money your smoking and drinking habits cost us? Yeah, maintaining face may be important, but you know that we barely have any savings, right? Yes, I'm sorry. I have things that I want to buy, and things that I want to eat too, you know. Is that why you're doing this job? Uh, yeah, well, pretty much. You should have talked about it with me. Couldn't you have just gotten a part-time job or something? Shut up! 
I wanted to make quick cash. Whoa, way to be blatantly honest. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you should become a night worker. Ugh, get the hell off that pedestal. You're the one who uses these services. Uh, shit. What? We continued to argue after that. Things got so heated, the word divorce even got thrown around a couple of times. But what a sad creature man is. <laughs> I missed all the fighting. Watching her skirt flap around made me hornier and hornier. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm breaking up with you. Goodbye. Wait, aren't you forgetting something important? What? Are you planning on going home without, uh, servicing your customer? Ugh. What, are you being serious? How the hell can you be horny in this situation? Please, it's not like we don't know each other. I'll pay too. Ugh, that's just your money being transferred to me. That's not all. Huh? I'm gonna take these and do this. What are you doing? I quit smoking starting right now. And I quit drinking. All of that money I spent on those things, I'm going to give to you. And I'm going to lose weight. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I'm glad I was able to talk honestly with you. Thanks to you, I... I see my flaws now, Yumi. I'll change for you. I'll change. Shoichi... So, please give me my service. Gross. I want you to be my last massage lady. That's not smooth at all, you fool. I have no shame being a fool in front of the woman that I love. That line stinks like your cigarette breath. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm way past being angry now. Do you promise to quit smoking and drinking? Yeah, I promise. Please, use that extra money however you want. Hmm. So, you're doing it for me? Of course. I'm so sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Well, this isn't a very convincing situation for apologies, but... Fine, this'll be my last job. You me. Alright, get on your side, Shoichi. Uh... Okay. One hour later... Her technique... She's gotten so much better. Yumi, you are so amazingly amazing. What's that face mean? Don't worry about it. <sighs> but I thought you would be madder at me. Why? I mean, you just found out that your wife does night massages. Well, as a repeating customer... Repeating? Uh, well, I have a certain level of respect for people in this business, so, uh... Well, I never did expect my wife to be in the industry, but... <sighs> we should stop talking about it. <laughs> yeah. So let me make sure one more time. You're going to keep those promises, aren't you? Yeah, I promise. But you have to promise me that you'll quit after today, too. Yeah, I promise. Under the condition that you keep your end of the deal. I'll be okay. Fine. All right. I have to go back now. Okay. See you in Tokyo. It was an unexpected chain of events, but Yumi and I were able to come to an understanding with each other. Maybe it was for the better that we were both at fault. Six months later. I successfully quit smoking and quit drinking out. Instead, Yumi allows me to drink at home. So, we spend more time together now. Cheers! Cheers! I've been watching my diet as well and lost a lot of weight. Because of that, Yumi looks at me differently than before. Shoichi! Hey, now. You drunk? Hey, wanna go to bed? Huh? Ah, I never expected you to make the first move. But you're just gonna do your dead fish thing again, right? <laughs> Thirty minutes later. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, the vast open sea. Love changed my wife from a dead fish to a flying fish. What's up, Ichi? Hey, man! Good morning, Ichi! Morning! My name is Ichi. I'm a high school student, but I'm really poor. My parents have already passed away, and I live all alone. I have to budget the money that my parents left me in order to survive. They're having a sale at the grocery store today. I better stop by after school. Looking at flyers again? Must be tough for you. Yeah, I guess. Hey, Ichi, I was dumped again. Help me out. <laughs> I don't have superpowers, man. Aw, you gave me advice last time, though. <laughs> Life was hard for me financially, but I had a lot of friends who came to me for advice all the time. But not everyone thought highly of me. 
Hey, move. You're in my way. Yikes! Kaneko! This is Kaneko. She comes from a super wealthy family. She could buy anything she ever wanted. Oh, Ichi. Where are you going with that dirty flyer all crumpled up in your hand? You again. Why don't you try eating real food sometimes instead of cooking at home? My father just invested in a five-star restaurant. I can get us some VIP seats if you want. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. You're too poor. <sighs> Come on. Don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> Ichi! Oh, my bad. I thought you could evade that, but I guess poor people are slow, too. <laughs> uh, she was always so annoying and mean to me. I had no idea why for a long time. One day after recess, I returned from the bathroom and felt all eyes on me. Huh? Where's my textbook? Jeez, they're so insidious. <laughs> oh, looking for something? I knew who had done this, but I had no proof, so I couldn't say anything. I looked around, and as expected, my books were in the trash. <sighs> They're so predictable, too. I had no choice, so I dug up the trash to get my books, and... Ew, disgusting! A bomb is going through our trash! You must be homeless. If you're so hungry, here, have some of my drink. <gasps> oh no, my textbooks! I didn't have the money to buy new textbooks, so subconsciously, my thoughts went straight to money rather than the fact that I was wet. Oh, what a boring reaction. Why? Why would you do this? What a stupid question. It's so annoying how you're enjoying your life even though you're so poor. What the hell? Let me tell you because you're too dumb to know. It's all about money in this world. Poor people are just pieces of shit. Money equals power and respect. But look at you. You aren't even trying. You're just accepting the life of a bum. It's disgusting. It's none of your business. It's not like I chose to be- Ugh! I swallowed my words and just ran out. Huh? Ichi? Is he going to the bathroom? <sighs> Shit! I ran away. I was disgusted at myself. Only if- I wasn't poor! I was mad at her words, but I was also mad at myself for not being able to defend myself. It's true. I had no money. I wasn't good at school, and people always made fun of me for it. Damn, what a piece of shit! Who is? <gasps> I was just talking to myself when a girl I'd never seen before approached me from behind. Huh? You're all wet! Are you okay? Uh, yeah. I just spilled some water. Hmm. It's lunchtime. Oh, I don't have lunch. Here, I made too much. Let's eat this together. Uh, you sure? Wow. Looks so good. Right? This is my special stamina lunchbox. Nothing beats this when you're having a tough day. Hi, I'm Star. And I'm Mina. Together, we're the Stamina Sisters. We ate her lunch together and enjoyed a nice conversation. I completely forgot about those hurtful words thanks to her. Scarface and Breadface are making love. So tell me, why are you being bullied? I think it's because I'm poor. Huh? What the hell kind of reason is that? That's so immature, terrible, unbelievable. She got mad at my situation for me and said that she was going to get them back for me. I never knew how good it felt to have someone be so supportive and sympathetic for me. I got a good idea, Ichi. Let's make them regret what they said. Huh? That girl who's mean to you, she's rich, right? Uh, yeah. So, let's make you so successful that they can't say anything bad about you anymore. Let's study like hell and get you into a good college, and find a great company to work for, and make a bunch of money. That piece of shit Kaneko won't be able to say anything after that. Uh, but... Don't worry, I'm one of the smarter kids in this school. But, I don't think I can. Stop! I won't allow you to doubt yourself anymore. From now on, I'll only accept yes for an answer. Got it? Yes. Good! So do you want to do this or not? After talking to her, I could feel the urge to win building up inside of me. I... I want to try. Good. So that's how I decided to apply for Titan University, one of the hardest schools in the country. 
From that day on, I studied like hell with Mika. I studied late into the night and cut back on sleep. If you nod off, you know what happens, right? Uh... No matter how tired I was, I studied every day. I studied so hard, and Mika kept pressing me harder. Until finally... Hooray! Hooray! I made it into Titan University. I continued to study hard throughout college, and went on to work for a decent company. I was living a busy life when one day... A class reunion? I received an invitation to a class reunion party. I wonder how everyone's doing. I wanted to see everyone again. So I decided to participate. The day of the reunion. Hichi, we're sorry. I was shocked. Upon my arrival, all the girls started apologizing to me. Huh? What is this? According to them, they all regretted how they treated me back then. Don't worry about it. We were all kids back then. It made me feel much better though. Thanks. No problem. Let's just have fun today. Yeah. Cheers! Cheers! Half an hour later... Hey! I heard you work for Titan Industries now! That's amazing! That's such a good company. Yeah, it's okay. I probably shouldn't ask what you do now. Everyone was more relaxed now, and just as things were getting fun, a girl caught my eye. Is that...? Yeah, that's Kaneko. I don't remember her being so plain. Yeah, I heard her family business isn't going too well, and they're about to go bankrupt. Oh, damn. I was surprised. She used to be all flashy and the center of attention, but that girl I saw seemed plain and calm. I didn't have very fond memories of her, so I decided to keep my distance, but... Hey, Ichi. <gasps> she approached me. Long time no see. That's an expensive looking suit. You look so good. I heard you work at Titan Industries now. That's so amazing. <laughs> uh... How much do you make now? It's such a big company. I'm sure you make quite a lot. Uh, yeah. I guess. It felt like she was interrogating me. Honestly, I didn't want anything to do with her. I was looking forward to seeing you today. There's something I wanted to tell you. Uh, what? Will you be my boyfriend? What?! Everyone looked confused. You know, we were just kids back then, right? Let's just pretend like nothing ever happened and... You are in no position to make such a proposal! After seeing you today, it's clear as day to me. I love you, Ichi. What do you say, Ichi? How would you like to go out with me? It wasn't that realistic back then, but I think we live in the same world right now, right? Uh... Well... I'm not trying to rush you. We can start off just going out on dates and stuff. What makes you think I'd ever date someone like you? What? Don't you remember? You always used to bully me. Uh, well, you know, that was just because I liked you. It was just my younger self trying to get your attention, you know. <laughs> you talk so much trash about me. You're unbelievable. <laughs> and plus... I heard that you still haven't found a job and live off of your parents' money, right? So let me guess. You're just here to find your next host to leech off of. Oh, he's probably right. I heard she's not working too. Maybe she thinks people are like her ATM machines. Oh, damn. Either way, I wouldn't date you. What? Why not? Because I have this girl. There, standing next to me, was Mika who had blossomed into a gorgeous woman. What? Naturally, I was attracted to her after she tried so hard to teach me how to study, so I asked her out after we graduated high school. Life has settled now, so I was planning on getting married to her soon. Even when you guys made fun of me back in high school, she always saw me for who I was. It's thanks to her that I've come this far, and it's for her that I plan to work hard for in the future. Ichi. But look at you. I bet you just wanted the status of the wife of a successful man, right? Who would want to be with a woman that only thinks about money? There's not a chance that I would go out with anyone like you! You're just way too shallow! Stay away from me for the rest of my life! Uh, 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 I'm telling of daddy! Kaneko disappeared from the party after that, and everyone came over to congratulate me and Mika. Make, Make sure, sure you invite me to your wedding! wedding. 
Congratulations, you two! The reunion ended on a lovely note. After that, Kaneko's father's company went out of business. She lost all of her allowance, of course, and now works seven days a week at a convenience store. My name is Sosuke. I'm just an ordinary high school kid. My hobbies are manga and games. I'm kind of a nerd, but I'm not ashamed of it. School is boring, but life is just fine. There was one thing that I was self-conscious about, though. The fact that I had never dated a girl in my entire life. But that can't be helped. I've pretty much given up. Hey, where's Hamade? What the hell do you want? My girl tells me that you gave it to her pretty good the other day. Oh, that was your friend? Keep her in line. She just jumped on me the second she saw me. Yeah, cause you walk around like you own this town! You want more? Leave me alone. Got it? Ugh. Shit! You think you're so cool, eh? Shut up. You just lost me, alright? Stop being a sore loser. Ugh. Damn you! What's going on? It's like a scene from a manga. Even recent mangas don't have such graphic fighting scenes. I better stay away from that girl. I don't know what she would do to me. Crap! I'm late! That game is too fun. I never know when to stop. Oh, crap! It's Omade! I wonder what she's doing here. I'm just gonna quietly get dressed for P.E. and get out of here. Shit. Ow. Uh, huh? Is she... hurt? What are you looking at? Uh, nothing? Oh, crap. Whatever. Ow! Oh, she's bleeding. Oh, yeah, I think I have a band-aid. Um, what? Uh, do you want to use this? Uh. Huh? Why is she blushing? Um, it seems like you're hurt, so... Thanks. Okay, uh, see you then. Hey, wait. Ah, yes? What's your name? So, 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 that was how our first encounter went. Omade started talking to me often after that and made me exchange numbers with her. She sends me messages every day and I'm nervous every time that I write back. I don't want to step on her toes and get beaten up by her. But there's one thing that I'm sure of. I don't stand a chance against her. I must avoid conflict at all costs. Oh, it's Omade again. Have you ever dated anyone, Sosuke? No. Is there anyone you like? No. Hmm, I see. Why do you ask? There's someone I like. I exchange texts with him every day. Oh, so she texts with other people every day too. I haven't seen her fighting too much recently. Maybe she's calming down. I see. Do you want to know who it is? Huh? What's the right answer to this question? She'll probably be mad at me if I say no, right? This means she wants me to say yes, right? I, I think I've seen the situation in one of the mangas that I read recently. Um, yes, I would like to know. I'm texting him right now. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Huh? Hold on. Is... Is this what I think it is? Does she like me? No way! That can't be! Someone like her would never fall in love with a nerdy geek like me! Oh no. What should I say? Should I say, good luck with him? No. What if she gets pissed for not being that interested? Bad idea. Uh, what else can I say? Are you talking about me? No. What if I'm wrong? She'll be pissed at my arrogance. Oh no! I don't know what to do! <sighs> I couldn't respond. I thought all night about it, but I couldn't find a good answer. Oh, man. Hey! Oh, 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 Mari! Let's take this outside, you asshole! Oh, that kid's in big trouble. He's gonna get a beatdown. 
Should we help him? Uh, no. Don't get yourself caught up in this. You want to live, don't you? Uh... Why didn't you write back? Um, well... Uh... Speak up. Stop being so squirmy. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep all night because of you. You ready to take responsibility? Yes, I will. Wait, what? I mean, you owe me an answer. An answer? I may not be good enough for you yet, but if that's what you want, I'll stop fighting. Maybe not completely, but as much as possible. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, are you going to be my boyfriend or not? Speak up, asshole! Yes, I will! Wait, what? I'm dating you? Who else would you be dating? Uh, why me, though? You remember giving me that band-aid? You've been on my mind ever since. Huh? It, it, it was just a band-aid. It's not just a band-aid. That's the golden situation in those girl mangas. The girl is hurt, and the prince gently lends a helping hand. That's how it goes. Are you okay? Take my hand. Uh, I'm, I'm just a nerd. I'm... no prince. And besides, I didn't lend a hand. I just lent her a band-aid from a dollar store. What? Is there another girl in the picture? Give me her name in class so I can go beat her up. Uh, no. There's no one else. Then you'll be my boyfriend, right? Uh, yes! And that's how I started dating Omade. Yeah, but this is my first girlfriend ever. Should I really be dating Omade? Do I have to become a delinquent and start picking fights too? No, no, no! That's impossible. She's very cute, but... I can't fight. What should I do? What do you guys think? Hey, let's go chill outside. Yeah, that sounds good. My classmates look like they're having a great time during lunch. Me, on the other hand, I'm a loner. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. I'm the guy who sucks at making friends and always eats lunch alone. I did try to make friends when I first entered this school, but group just kind of naturally form, and I was too introverted, and naturally, I was all alone. I wish I had that level of confidence. I would watch my classmates enviously as I quietly ate my lunch every day. Lunchtime. Oh, here she comes! Damn, she's so cute! Huh? Who are they talking about? The center of attention was... Sorry to keep you waiting. You're late, Mika. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, tell me about yesterday. The popular girl from the other class, Mika. She would come hang out in our class all the time, and she was so popular almost immediately. Man, I can't even make a single friend in my own class, but look at her. She must have ridiculous people skills. Hey, uh, Mika, you want me to help you with your homework? Hey, no, uh... I know this great place to get boba. Uh, let me take you some time. What? Really? Which one are you talking about? The one on the corner in Shibuya. Oh, thanks for the info. Yeah. Hey, so do you wanna? Perfect. All the girls are gonna hang out together tomorrow after school. Oh, uh, okay. I see. She would treat everyone the same way, and she had such a wonderful personality. All the guys were in love with her. Honestly, for a guy like me, she lived in a totally different world. Like one of those celebrities on TV. One day, I thought she was here as usual to talk to her friends, but she was acting strange. It looks like she's looking for someone. She found who she was looking for and started running. And? Um, you're Mamoru Yamada, right? <gasps> she talked to me! B -b but dura up, huh? Huh? W what? Why is she talking with me? I sucked at talking to people as it was. I, I started panicking and m mumbling. Then she asked me something preposterous. Can I borrow your gym clothes, please? Huh? Your last name. It's Yamada. Right, Mamoru? Uh, yeah. Why? Me too, and I forgot my top for P.E. If you don't mind, I'd like to borrow it, please? She looked at me with an embarrassed look on her face. I don't mean 
mean to be pushy, but you know how Mr. Izuka is so strict about forgetting things to class. You're the only one I can ask. Please? Uh, sure. Really? Thank you so much! I was a little bit nervous as I handed her my uniform. Holy crap. She's so much cuter up close. One hour later. Thanks, Mamoru! Here! You can have this back. Uh, uh... I tried my best not to get them sweaty, but sorry if it smells. Don't worry about it. Thanks! See ya! After saying that, she went on her way. <gasps> oh, they're still warm. Uh, crap, I'm gonna be late! Uh, my PE class was next, so naturally, I used the gym clothes that I was just handed back. What the hell? It smells so good! Am I even allowed to wear this? Well, it's mine, right? The gym clothes that she had just worn smelled like someone else completely. Oh, hey, Mamoru. Good morning. Uh, hi. She started saying hi to me when we passed by each other in the hallway after that. I felt like I was a little closer to her than before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> huh? Oh, no, don't stare, damn it. But it wasn't like she came more often than before. I bet... <sighs> Man, it would be so nice if she was my girlfriend. What if one event leads to a series of events and I end up dating her? Mamoru! Sorry to keep you waiting! What do you think? Mamoru? Uh, no! <laughs> What's his problem? Let's stay away. My delusions were completely shattered, though. One day after school... Yikes. It's pouring. It started raining heavily after school, and I had forgotten my umbrella, and I was standing around. Oh, and there she was, looking up at the sky. She seemed like she needed help. Maybe she forgot her umbrella too. I thought that this was my chance to get closer to her. Hey, me! Hey, Mika! Oh, Ichi! Huh? The boy standing in the direction of her smile was Ichi, from my class. Hey, did you forget your umbrella? Yeah, I'm so glad that you brought one, though. You forgot it again? I'm starting to think you're forgetting it on purpose. Why would I do that, you dummy? They seemed so close, both emotionally and physically. They shared an umbrella as they walked off into the distance. And that's when I had the realization. Oh, you had a boyfriend. <laughs> well, of course. Why wouldn't you? I stand no chance against Ichi. I never did. A plain nerd like me never stood a chance with her in the first place. I can't believe I even thought I had a shot. I started avoiding her after that. I, I didn't know how to interact with her. Hey, Mamoru. Long time no see. Uh, yeah. Oh, do you remember that time you let me borrow your gym clothes? Here's a gift in return. I baked them myself, so I'm not sure if they taste that great, but I just wanted to say thank you. If I had never encountered that scene, I would have jumped on those cookies. But, no thanks. Huh? Just the thought of her baking those cookies for someone else and bringing me leftovers made me reject them. I don't want them. Hey, don't worry. They aren't terrible. Each even said that they taste fine. Shut up! Didn't you hear me? You're so annoying walking around like you... Love everyone! <gasps> uh... Oh... I... Sorry... Oh no... What have I done? A few weeks later... Alright, you guys ready to go? Yeah, let's do this! Yikes... That's Yamada, right? Why is he... All dirty? No clue... I hadn't talked to Mika since... That incident... Not only that, I lost my will to do anything, and barely even showered anymore. <sighs> Mika stopped coming to my classes often. It's probably my fault. Mika! Oh, good morning. How have you been? I don't see you around recently. Oh, you know... How's Mamoru, by the way? Huh? Moromo? Do you need to borrow his gym clothes again or something? No, no, I just heard he's been acting kind of strange recently. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, he seems even more plain than before. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta go. Okay, see you. Mika. Hmm. 
She sighed deeply as she stared out the window. Is she worried about me? But I was the one who went off on her out of my jealousy. I can't stay like this forever. I'm fine with just being friends. I, I just want to be the kind of guy who can talk to her normally. That's when I decided to give myself a makeover. Let's see here. Uh, first and foremost, make a fresh and neat impression. I see. I, I bought a couple of fashion magazines for men and watched videos online about fashion. Do all these fashionable guys go through all of this? Fine. Uh, ugh. What the hell is this? Whoa! Damn! I shaved too much of my eyebrow! Finally. Whoa. Not too bad, right? I was surprised at myself for how much I had changed. One day after school, I decided to call her up to the rooftop of the school to tell her my feelings. Uh, I'm so nervous! But maybe they were just sharing umbrellas as friends. Like they might be childhood friends, right? I must have some chance. Mamoru! Hey, it's been a while. M Mika! It had been months since I talked to her. She was as gorgeous as always, and I was nervous, as expected. Sorry for taking your time like this. No problem. I haven't spoken to you like this in a while. Um... I'm sorry for yelling at you that one time. I was jealous. It's your choice who you want to hang out with, but... I was just jealous. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm just glad we're talking again. Mika. Mamoru. I... I like you. Will... Will you please... Will you please go out with... I'm sorry! Whoa! What?! And here I was thinking everyone was going great! What? Oh, uh, okay. We've known each other since we were little kids, and we started dating once we got into high school. Oh, I, I see. Well, I'd be lying if I said that this wasn't totally unexpected, but still. That was definitely a full-on rejection. <sighs> but if you would have asked me before I started Ichi, I... Huh? No, <laughs> nothing. You've really changed, Mamoru. <laughs> Hell yeah. I liked you before, too, but you're 100 times cooler now. Her smile was perfect as always. She's so gorgeous. <laughs> you just wait and see. I'm going to make you regret rejecting me. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Good. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as I get a girlfriend. You better. Then we can go on a double date. A double date? That was how my first love ended as a failure. But after that, I was able to open myself up to other kids in class and I started making more friends. Yeah, that's what happened with Yumino that one time. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> one day, we were all just hanging out in class. Mamoru, some girl's calling you. Huh? Uh... <sighs> Is it finally? My turn? <laughs>